This is question 4. We're told f of x is equal to ax cubed minus 11x squared plus bx plus 4 where a and b are constants. We're told when f of x is divided by x minus 3 the remainder is 55. When f of x is divided by x plus 1 the remainder is minus 9. In part a we're asked to find the value of a and the value of b. The question carries 5 marks. I'm going to use the remainder theorem here and state now that the f of 3 will be equal to 55 and the f of minus 1 will be equal to minus 9. I'm going to sub these values through f of x and set up simultaneous equations. That will allow me to solve for a and b. So if we start now with the f of 3. The f of 3 is going to give me a multiplied by 3 cubed which is 27. Then we're going to have minus 11 multiplied by 3 squared, which is going to be 9. Then we're going to have now b multiplied by 3, and then we're going to have plus 4. So if we tidy this up, we can now say that 55 will be equal to 27a minus 99 plus 3b, and then we're going to have plus 4. So if we just do the calculations from here, we will have 150 is equal to 27a plus 3b. So let's just write this in. 150 is equal to 27a plus 3b. We can simplify this dividing through by 3. So 50 is going to be equal to 9a plus b. I'm going to call this equation 1. If we now take the f of minus 1. So the f of minus 1. This will now give us a multiplied by minus 1 cubed. So we're going to have a multiplied by minus 1. Then we're going to have minus 11 lots of minus 1 squared, which will be minus 11 lots of positive 1. Then we'll have plus b multiplied by minus 1. So we'll have minus b. And then we're going to have plus 4. So if we just rewrite this out, we're going to have minus 9 will be equal to minus a minus 11 minus b plus 4. So from here we can see now that minus 2 would be equal to minus a minus b. I'm going to call this one equation 2. So all I'm doing now is simply setting up simultaneous equations to solve. I'm going to add 1 and 2 together. If we do 1 plus 2 We've got now 50 plus minus 2, which is going to give us 48. We're going to have 9a minus a, which is going to give us 8a, and the b's are going to cancel. So we can see from this now that a will be equal to 6. All I need to do at this stage is simply sub this in to go ahead and solve. So we can say minus 2 will be equal to minus 6 minus b. So from this stage, we can add the 6 to both sides, and we can see that b is going to be equal to minus 4. So 5 marks in total, and lots of different approaches with your simultaneous equations. It says, given that 3x plus 2 is a factor of f of x, in part b, for 4 marks, we're asked to factorise f of x completely. So let's just go ahead and sub in these values. We have now f of x and f of x will be equal to 6x cubed. I'm simply subbing in now the value of a. Then we have minus 11x squared, so minus 11x squared. Then we have now plus bx. Well, we know that b is minus 4, so we'll have minus 4x, and then we will have plus 4. So using the values that we found in part a, we can write f of x now as f of x is equal to 6x cubed minus 11x squared minus 4x plus 4. At this stage, I've got a couple of different choices. All I'm going to do is simply now take the factor of 3x plus 2. I'm going to say to myself now, this is a linear factor. If I multiply this by a quadratic factor, ax squared plus bx plus c, that will now give me the cubic equation that we've got here, which is 6x cubed minus 11x squared minus 4x plus 4. I could go ahead and show full workings, 
but all I'm going to do is look first at terms in x cubed. So if we look at terms in x cubed, on the left hand side we're going to have 3ax cubed. On the right hand side we're going to have now 6x cubed. So 3a must be equal to 6, so we can say that a will be equal to 2. If we now go ahead and look at the constant, the constant now, the only term we're going to get is 2c. So when we consider now the constant, we're going to have on the left hand side 2c, that will be equal to 4, therefore c will be equal to 2. So I'm using the method now of equating coefficients. At this stage, we now have a choice. I'm going to look at finding the value of b simply by considering either terms now in x or x squared. If we look at terms in x, we're going to have 3x multiplied by c. So terms in x, just writing this out, terms in x. On the left-hand side, we're going to have now 3cx. Then we'll have plus 2bx. So plus 2bx, and that must be equal now to minus 4x. So we can say that 3c plus 2b will be equal to minus 4. We know that c is equal to 2. 3 lots of c is going to give me 6. 6 plus 2b is equal to minus 4. If I subtract 6 from both sides and divide by 2, b is going to be equal to minus 5. So we have our values here. So we can write this now as 3x plus 2 multiplied now by a, which is going to be the 2. So we're going to have 2x squared minus 5x, and then we're going to have plus 2. So all I've done here is simply written this as a linear multiplied by a quadratic. Now at this stage, we would look to factor this quadratic equation. The quadratic will factor, and we can write this now as 2x minus 1 multiplied by x minus 2. So we're going to have the 3x plus 2 multiplied now by 2x minus 1 multiplied by x minus 2. So we fully factored f of x, given that we found the values now of a and b in the first part of the question. So nine marks in total and lots of different approaches that you could take. With this particular approach, you could have used polynomial long division if you like.